A year and a half ago, she fought for her life after falling off a cliff in Davidson County. Now, this mother of two is fighting for a much needed wheelchair. Well, I spoke with Sarah Hussey while she recovered in the hospital back in April of 2022. And as Fox 8 Celeste Smith's report, Sarah is a survivor and she's determined to survive this next challenge. Just because I'm in pain and my body hurts does not mean that I need to sit here and be miserable. I can still go out, I can still try and be a happy person. Sarah Huzzy needs a new wheelchair and she's selling homemade baked goods to raise the $1,700 needed for a new motorized one. I decided to start a bake sale to raise money to buy myself this custom wheelchair that I need to go to my um, kids sporting events and be back in their lives more, go to their school events, go they go to the zoo with them. They just miss me being in their lives and I miss it so much. Sarah spent one month in the hospital in spring of last year after she fell from a 60 foot cliff while hiking with her fiance near Baden Lake in Davidson County. She broke more than 30 bones in her body. The wheelchair she's been using is the one she left the hospital in a year and a half ago and isn't meant for long-term use. While raising money for a motorized chair, she's been battling to get disability and trying to get her insurance company to cover a custom fit wheelchair. It's not fair that we're having to jump through the hoops of insurance and we have been on the way to Winston, halfway up to Winston several times before, um, on the way to my first wheelchair fitting. Um, and the doctor will call us and be like, insurance just called and denied it once again. Unable to work, she fell in love with baking and decided to use her skills to help raise the funds needed for her wheelchair. Through this, I've found a love for baking and I have always really liked baking, but like with the time on my hands, I've really, really found a joy for it. All of her baked goods are made with farm fresh eggs from free range chickens and brown sugar and sourdough she makes herself. She's delivered to customers in Winston-Salem, Greensboro, Randolph County, and even the firefighters who helped rescue her from the accident in Davidson County. I am still very physically limited but it's also been such a blessing and it's brought it's reminded me how big of a sense of community like i truly am a part of in randolph county celeste smith fox 8 news now, as many of you know motorized wheelchairs are very expensive we're talking thousands of dollars but guess what minutes before our story aired sarah was told by the baden fire department whose firefighters rescued her it's buying the motorized wheelchair for her and it will be delivered to her before Christmas. With nearly half the money raised, Sarah now plans to use the money to buy her children Christmas presents and pay some bills.